Jimmy Carter was the 39th President of the United States and Nobel Peace Prize recipient. He was born on October 1, 1924 in Plains, Georgia, and grew up in a family of peanut farmers. His father, James Earl Carter Sr., was a farmer and storekeeper, and his mother, Bessie Lillian Gordy, was a nurse. He was educated at Georgia Southwestern College and the Georgia Institute of Technology before graduating from the United States Naval Academy in 1946. Naval career, Carter rose to the rank of lieutenant and served on a nuclear submarine. After his father's death in 1953, he resigned from the Navy and returned to Georgia to manage the family peanut farm. He later entered politics, first as a state senator, then as the governor of Georgia, and finally in 1977 as the President of the United States. Carter was known for his commitment to human rights and his efforts to promote peace in the Middle East. He was a strong advocate for the Panama Canal Treaty, which guaranteed the neutrality of the canal, and he was instrumental in the Camp David Accords, which ended 30 years of war between Egypt and Israel. As an environmental leader, he created the Department of Energy, initiated the International Solar Energy Agreement, and established the Superfund program to clean up toxic waste sites. During his presidency, Carter appointed the first female Supreme Court Justice, Sandra Day O'Connor, and the first female cabinet secretary, Juanita Krebs. He also created the Department of Education, signed the Airline Deregulation Act, and issued an executive order banning discrimination in the civil service. Domestically, Carter's efforts were overshadowed by an economic recession and the Iran hostage crisis. He was defeated for re-election in 1980 by Ronald Reagan, but his legacy of civil rights and environmental protection live on. Jimmy Carter has continued to be active in public life since leaving office.
in 2002, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his decades of work to find peaceful solutions to international conflicts. He established the Carter Center, a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting democracy and human rights around the world. In 2010, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama. In September 2012, he surpassed Herbert Hoover as the president with the longest retirement. He and Hoover are, as of 2023, the only presidents to have a retirement of longer than 30 years. On March 22, 2019, he became the nation's longest-lived president, when he surpassed the lifespan of George H.W. Bush, who was 94 years, 171 days of age when Bush died in November 2018. He also noted how difficult it felt to reach his 90s, the former president saying in a 2019 interview with People that he never expected to live as long as he has, claiming his secret to a long life is a good marriage. On February 18, 2023, the Carter Center announced that Carter was staying at home to receive hospice care instead of additional medical intervention. Today, Jimmy Carter is still considered one of the most influential presidents in history. His dedication to human rights and social justice has earned him global respect. He continues to be an inspiration to those who seek peace and justice in the world.